Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a peacock and pheasant nymph. Now, if you've ever used peacock and pheasant, you know how well those two materials work together. So I think this kind of uh, nymph will be a winner for pretty well any waters out there that we're trying to inhabit them. So let's get started looking at the materials. I'm going to use this uh, size 12 in a, a, a long, this is like a Mustad 9671. Our thread is a black 10 alt in a Vivas. We're going to use a fine copper wire. Of course, we're going to use pheasant tail and some peacock curl. So let's get started. It's a simple pattern. Bring them back to the hook point. Okay, we're going to start off with just three barbs. And then if what, you, what you can do, it's up to you, you can bring your thread further back and wind on a bump and then bring your thread just behind that bump. Then put your pheasant tail in there and wind it up against the bump. And you can see what it does is it splays the feathers, uh, splays the barbs, I should say. Um, that's not a bad way to, to handle the um, your tails. Uh, it just gives them a little bit of an extra uh, flare. Now we tie in our copper wire. Now for our peacock curl, I'm going to tie it in by the base of the barb. About halfway down the shank. Trim off. And then wind back and we're going to create a dubbing loop. And when you create a dubbing loop like this, go back and wind over the, um, the first uh, thread so it traps it. Because I find if you don't trap it, sometimes the, the threads uh, will start to unwind on you. Okay, before I get going on spinning this up, this could break on me. Um, there is a downside to using these 10 out threads when you're creating these kinds of dubbing loops for peacock curl. You really have to go gentle with them because the thread can actually cut the, uh, the barb of the peacock curl. So I'm not going to wind this up too much. I'm going to trap that off because I'm still use that for the remainder of that peacock curl a dubbing loop for the uh, rest of the body. Now something I often do to make my life easier with um, wire is I put them in hackle pliers and part of that is just because of you know old fingers are just not as nimble but uh, you, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but it's just something I've got in the habit of doing. And one slip there. Make it bite in. Uh, bring your wire forward. You can see by having the wire in there and the peacock curl in there, it does uh, create a few problems with trying to keep your keep everything managed. We'll just snip that off. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tag here. And I'm just going to push that tag over. So I'm going to wind over the tag as I wind my peacock curl back into position. There we go. So what I've done is I've buried that um, uh, wire. Now we're going to take about six barbs. And it doesn't matter if you take eight or seven or five, the fish can't count. At least I don't think they can count. And 
bring my thread forward. Leave the tips of the pheasant tail pointing forward. This is going to be your legs and your wing case. So just leave that hanging there for the moment. If you want, what you can do if you want to do this is come in with a half hitch tool. If you want to use your rotary vise and just put one turn right underneath where those legs are. Now you can use your rotary vise and get everything out of the way. Patterns like this, I think often the material handling when you're trying to get all these bits lined up are often the biggest problem. So I'm just going to make multiple passes in here to thicken up the thorax. There we go, that's good. Now, here's the trick. We've got all those stuck together. We want to try and separate them. Fold your wing case over. See if you can get all your legs held together so they don't get trapped. If you have any trap, just come in with your bodkin and pick it out. And finally, wet finish. Okay, there we have our uh, peacock and pheasant uh, nymph. I think this will be a very effective pattern. I think it'll work quite well. Uh, and um, you just put a little bit of head cement and ready to go fishing. Something else you could do if you wanted, you could put a, a wrap of lead underneath the thorax area. So that would help the uh, fly to get down. No problem if you want to do that, go for it. But I think, you know, just on its own, it's going to be an effective pattern. And um, whether you'd want to put lead or not, I think is not just a matter of depth keeping, it's also how you want the nymph to behave. Because if you're going to more or less swim this and tr treat it more like an active nymph that's moving around, you may not want the lead. If you just want to get to the bottom, then by all means put some lead in it. But anyway, give it a try, the peacock and pheasant nymph. Cheers.